Today we're going to talk about the chords of the melodic minor scale. I'm Jared from SoundGuitarLessons.com, and today we're going to go through the chords of the melodic minor scale on the guitar in a very specific way that I recommend, and that's that we want to know the melodic minor scale along the fifth string off the first fret, just the scale. And then we just want to harmonize the triads off of it along that same fifth string, and then we want to harmonize the seventh chords off of it. First, let's learn the melodic minor scale along the fifth string. It's one, two, flat, three, four, five, six, seven, one, one, seven, six, five, four, flat, three, two, one. You can think of it as a major scale with the flat three. So it's just major. Everything's major. One, seven, six, five, four, flat, three, two, one. major, five is major, six is diminished, and seven is diminished. Super weird sound and super weird stuff. Now let's add sevens to each of those, and this is where this scale is often used in jazz music. The melodic minor scale for improvising in jazz is very common, so you want to think of well, what chords does it actually work over. So if you ever want to get to that point, this is a great starting so the first chord is going to be minor major 7. All right, well, that's the tonic chord, the one chord of melodic minor. The two chord is just going to be minor 7. The three chord is going to be major 7 sharp 5. And these are the ways I want you to play through and, and kind of memorize it if you want to go that far with it. The 4 and 5 chord are both dominant 7. Super interesting dominant seventh chords in a row and then the sixth chord and seventh chord are both half diminished okay kind of makes it easier to remember once you add the sevens actually minor major seven diminished diminished dominant seven dominant seven major seven sharp five minor seven and minor major seven okay one more time going through it go through the chords just so you can hear it Again, if you're interested in this at all, just being able to actually play through it in at least one way is what we need to be able to do on the guitar, rather than knowing it theoretically, even if you know it well theoretically, or knowing that it's an idea that exists. So kind of a thing to start playing with. That's it for this lesson. If you haven't checked out the other videos in this series, definitely check those out. There's some really cool stuff, really useful information, some videos I put a ton of effort into that I think you'll find helpful. So it starts from the ground up in theory and kind of builds, and uh, some of it is helpful and useful right away and some of it is a little more kind of esoteric like this theory stuff that i'm doing here so but check them out and i'm getting close to being done with this series so if you have any thoughts about topics you might want me to do a series on next definitely let me know i'll be thinking about that and i'm looking forward to seeing you in a future lesson thanks so much take care